write the general form of the given quadratic in vertex form. f of x equals to 2x squared minus 8x plus 11. By taking 2 as common factor between the first two terms, we have 2 times x squared minus 4x plus 11. Now we complete the squares for the terms in the parentheses by taking half the coefficient of x, which is half of negative 4, which gives negative 2, add and subtract square of negative 2, which is 4, as shown here. 2 times parentheses x squared minus 4x plus 11 is equal to 2 times x squared minus 4x plus 4 and minus 4 plus 11. These first three terms form a perfect square trinomial, which gives 2 times x squared minus 4x plus 4. By grouping the first three terms, we can rewrite this expression as shown here. Now, rewriting the first three terms as a perfect square trinomial, we have 2 times parentheses, x minus 2 squared minus 4, parentheses close, plus 11. By distributing this multiplication with 2, we have 2 times x minus 2 squared minus 2 times 4 is 8 plus 11. After simplifying, we have 2 times x minus 2 squared minus 8 plus 11 gives positive 3. This gives the vertex form of the quadratic, which is f of x equals to 2 times x minus 2 squared plus 3. Comparing this to the vertex form of a general quadratic, which is f of x equals to a times x minus h squared plus k, we see that h is equal to 2, a is equal to 2, and k is equal to 3. The vertex h, k is 2, 3, and the axis of symmetry is aligned to the x coordinate of the vertex, which is 2, which means x equals to 2 is the axis of symmetry. Given function f of x equals to negative x squared minus 4x minus 8, we write this function in the vertex form by taking negative 1 as a common factor between the first two terms, as shown here, which gives negative 1 times x squared plus 4x minus 8. To complete the square for the terms in the parentheses, we take half the coefficient of x, which is 2, square it, add and subtract. Regrouping the first three terms here in the parentheses as a perfect square trinomial and rewriting, we have x squared plus 4x plus 4 is equal to x plus 2 squared minus 4 minus 8. Distributing this multiplication with negative 1, we have negative 1 times x plus 2 squared, negative times negative is positive 4 minus 8. By simplifying the function, we can have f of x equals to negative x plus 2 parentheses squared minus 4. Comparing this to the vertex form f of x equals to a times x plus h squared plus k, we have a is equal to negative 1, h is equal to negative 2, and k is equal to negative 4. From where the vertex is negative 2, negative 4, and the axis of symmetry is x equals to negative 2.
the vertex is shown here negative 2 comma negative 4 and the axis of symmetry is the line through x equals to negative 2.